testimony in Bruce Hitchens in my Highland Reads workshop at Canmore Pipe Bags. This is where I manufacture all my reads. And the purpose of this video is really to update on my products. So at the moment I have four products on the market. Over the years I've made a number of alterations and I'll explain these to you. But I've always gone back to the principle of the cane drone reed. This is the fundamental of where the sound comes from and the functionality. So the first requirement of a, sound, of a cane drone reed was for it to be airtight. That means when you blow the reed and it shuts off, there's no air coming through it. If there's air, air leaking through that, there are several things you can do to make it airtight, but basically being cane quite cheap, you would just discard it and get another reed. So this is exactly what I've strived for on my own reeds to get that air tightness. So the characteristics of my reeds are a wee bit different from other reeds. The reed body, the reed seat, which if I pick up the right one goes into the bottom of the drone and the white plug or black plug which is at the end. So, before I explain more about how to set the reeds up, the main characteristics for my reeds is that the tongue is straight. So the tongue is not bent in any way. If you bend the tongue and you force it up, it will want to come back down. So I want to keep the tongue natural. It's made out of glass fibre or not fibre glass so that it's quite flexible and it vibrates freely. I've put the curvature in to the reed. So the curvature is in the body of the reed. So when I place the tongue on the reed, the tongue is vibrating freely. Now what happens with the synthetic drone reeds is that when they get damp or condensation builds up between the tongue and the body of the reed. This condensation or film builds up and as the reeds vibrate and it pushes that backwards and forwards and that makes it unsteady and eventually it will shut off. So having the body straight, the tongue straight, it means that this doesn't cre create so easily the film but also I put a series of grooves in here which disperses this film of moisture as it builds up allowing the reed to function for a lot longer. The next thing is the new bridle. So the new bridle is clear plastic, it's bigger, it's more flexible, it's easier to fit, so it goes on to the reed. Because it's bigger and more flexible, it allows the tongue to vibrate more freely. It's also very easy to adjust, so you can, just, once the heat shrinks on, you can adjust the reed. And on the body of the reed, I put two grooves at the side here. And these, and I recommend that you keep the bridle between, <coughs> between these two grooves, and you'll be pretty right. The plug at the end acts as an on-off switch. So by turning the plug completely clockwise, shuts the reed off, and then by switching it around again, opening the reed allows it to function. <coughs> Some people close off the aperture in an attempt to make the reed slightly quieter. I don't recommend this. I recommend that you leave the plug fully open make any adjustments through the bridle to get the sound that you want from the reed. The bridle is the most important function of this reed and by getting the bridle in the right position so that it's comfortable with the air pressure that you're playing in your pipes, this, will, this is what will help produce the correct sound and have your pipes functioning correctly. So that's a quick intro through the characteristics of the reeds. The difference in the reeds the standard Ballastone drone reed is made out of traditional material and is produced through an injected moulding tool. So there's a, hot, a liquid that's poured into the tool 
This gets pushed under pressure at a certain heat, and then out come the parts. Because it's a hot liquid going in, this will shrink. And the shrinkage can be anything between 10 to 20%, quite a lot. So the standard reeds are made from the material I've always used, but then I experimented along with also changing the tool, some of the dimensions on the tool, I experimented with different plastics. And I found by using a different plastic, it was a harder plastic, but because it was a harder plastic, it actually shrunk more. So this reed gives more harmonics than the standard reed. So I'm not quite sure if this is because it is a harder plastic or if because it has shrunk more, the inside dimensions are slightly smaller. But it gives a different sound and it definitely gives more harmonics, which gives you more resonance on the chanter. This will also make it easier to tune your bagpipes. The standard B flat reeds are the same as the standard, but slightly longer tongues, as I said before, and this is giving you the lower pitch. And of course, the American reeds are made of the same material as the high resonant reeds.